You're at 109 right now. Thanks, Kobe. Hey, guys. Um, this is a long video, and I understand if you don't watch it. Um, but if you are interested, and if you have the time, if you find the time, or if you set aside some time to watch this, I'd greatly appreciate it. This is my trip to um, Europe. It includes some footage from um, the S Denmark, Sweden, um, and this particular video focuses on London, England. Um, I meet up with a uh, very good friend of mine, uh, Eric, and uh, we visited the uh, Tate Modern together. You know, he lives there. I was just traveling through, and it's always good to have someone you know, who knows the terrain, knows the uh, the lay of the land, I think it's called. Um, yeah, it's a long video. Um, I don't want to belabor it or, you know, belabor watching um, your or, or you viewing the um, movie with this introduction. But I just have to just warn you up front. I tried to make it as interesting as possible. I threw in some, um, some dance videos. Um, I threw in another video that I made um, with... Um, you know, there's just music. There's just music um, throughout. I think that there are some um, interesting things to see here. So, yeah, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and um, come with me um, to uh, Europe. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. All right? All right, y'all. Peace and blessings from where are we, Kobe? You're at 109 right now. So I don't know what happened to my device. All right, so a funny thing happened. So I, I go to the, um, uh, what am I saying? I go to, let me, let me get it right. I went to the reception desk at the hotel and I asked the young lady, um, how do I send a postcard? So she's like, first you buy the postcard. I'm like, no, 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 not that far okay. back. No, not that far back. I, I, I know how to send a postcard. Uh, yeah, I've already purchased it. I already have the stamp. It's ready to go. And uh, but it, come to think of it, I did make an error. I, I wrote the letter, I put the stamp on and everything, and I forgot the address. So, you know, I can't blame her for being like stupid, because I'm stupid at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I, I was offended. I was like, first you buy the postcard. I'm like, no, what's wrong with you? All right, so anyway, so she tells me, um, do all of that stuff she's like once you have the postcard and you're ready to send it once you got the postcard and you're ready to send it then um just drop it in the mailbox she said walk down the street there's a yellow mailbox i think this is it <laughs> this big old thing that says post nord on it and um that's about it, it looks like one o'clock is the time when it will be picked up 13 that's not a price that's 1300 hours i'm guessing all right so malala this is, you're going into uh, this post box here. I've got my message sitting on, written on here. 
All right, there's a uh, postage right there. There's uh, right there. Probably shouldn't have shown the address, but I have to make sure that's that's out of there. All right, bye bye. All right, so that's done. Yeah, that was funny. Funny to me at least. All right, something's not my my GoPro. Uh, this device is not working properly. I have to go back to the hotel and fix it. What the hell? Technology is falling, faltering on me, man. It sucks. Dude. I'm still in Sweden. I have the, the, the faintest idea which part of the city, Stockholm, I'm actually in. I got off at Skansko, and over here I'm at the uh, African Magic Hair Salon. Now, I can't record yet because I haven't received permission, but I can record outside, outside their business. I can tell you what's what's up, what's good with it. See that Crenshaw right there, Stockholm. It's up in Stockholm, yo. So, that's what it looks like. Like some things, some things never change. Whether what city you're in, whatever, you have to wait to get your hair done. So you come to the salon, and uh, she's told me to be here at five. I was here like a few minutes before five. But I still have to wait to get my hair done. So that's what I'm doing, waiting. So we'll see what's up. But they're professional. They look like they know what, exactly what they're doing. Everybody in here is from, you know, proper African nation. Styles are all up on the wall. Wait till you see. Wait till you see what's on the inside. Once, Wait till I get permission to film. And then you see what's going on in the inside. Then you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what's up. African magic here in Sweden to get to get right. African magic. We will now get sun up. One zero nine. Sunday Sunday service in Sweden I'm preparing to leave, so this is my last day. This is my last hour in this uh, accommodation here. My last hour.
nice cherry blossoms down there. The sun comes up at like four in the morning over here. And then uh, it's pretty bright until like 10 p.m. Gotta give you some of that good Swedish, you know, Christian music. All right, what's next? Another song is coming. Med allt som händer i vår värld just nu och allt som kanske händer i just ditt liv nu så är det skönt att veta att Gud uppmanar oss att lägga allt det som händer hos honom. Vi ska sjunga i nästa sång att han är sanning. The Lutheran Church. That's the biggest church in Sweden or the, the greatest number of members in Sweden. All right, so here's what I learned about Sweden. Um, trash in Sweden is well maintained and, and managed and other countries pay Sweden to uh, dispose of their trash. So Sweden has incinerators um, that are working um, vociferously, I, I suppose. You know, they're, they're working diligently. And um, in order to justify the cost of keeping them running, they have to accept the waste from other countries. I learned this from an, another YouTube um, video, a YouTuber from America. He's actually from, I think, uh, Oregon, um, and he lives in Sweden. So it's pretty cool, pretty interesting uh, information. And so this is Sunday, I'm leaving this accommodation and I had to dispose of my garbage, the final uh, remnants of my garbage um, that I've collected here. Um, I didn't exactly do a good job because you're supposed to sort it. And um, I didn't, I don't think I sorted it very well. Hopefully, uh, because I didn't create a lot of waste, um, someone will sort it for me and they won't f find it, you know, pretty disastrous or pretty troubling and um, burdensome on their day. You know, so. All right, so I showed you uh, the view from the window. There are actually three windows. I'm not going to open all of them, but you get the idea. And because, see, I left this one closed. All right, I, I, I drew back the... Uh, or drew them closed, the, the curtains, because, you know, when you're trying to go to sleep and it's still bright out, <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult to find, to find the circadian rhythm. It's difficult. So you have to draw the curtains and, and, and set your own circadian rhythm. Follow your own uh, timeline. This has been a test in, in time and um, time manipulation. All right, peace. God bless on this beautiful Sunday. I'll say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass us. Deliver us from evil forever and ever. Amen. I butchered it, but I, I memorized. I still memorize. I still have it memorized. So, all right, peace. A morning jog in Sweden. Yeah. It's important to take advantage of the sunlight and the great weather. That's what the Swedes are doing. That's what I learned to do. Watch the YouTube video because they don't get a lot of this. They don't get a lot of sunlight. So it's perfect timing, yo. I'm walking over to the uh, cherry blossoms and the problem with this is it's, it's, it's blocked off. They're like, don't come over here. This is wild. All right. I stayed in this hotel here on the fifth floor. So,
This is what I'm talking about. Now, if these cherry blossoms have been, I think these are cherry blossoms. If we had these cherry blossoms in Los Angeles lining the streets. Oh, look, there's another group of uh, runners way down there. Man, today is the day to go for a jog to get out and enjoy nature and all of it. Sweden, yeah, yeah, Sweden. Tak. Hey. I think that's the coolest part. That's the coolest part about this, like their language. To say hello is to say hey. Hey. That's so cool. That's not slang. They're literally speaking Swedish if you say hey. Hey meaning hello. And then to say thanks is talk. Hey. All right, two minutes in for this video. Boy, oh boy, that's a long video. If I do say so myself. It's gorgeous clouds. Ooh. Yeah, here comes another group. Another group of Swedes jogging. So, today is the day. Today is the day to jog for the Swedes. And they're coming. And they're coming. Watch them come. Big group. Big group of songs. And I'm just out for a stroll. Can you see me? I'm just out for a stroll, enjoying my final day in Sweden, in Stockholm. Yeah. And here they come again. Another group of runners. I'm just looking for the uh, supermarket. Holy smokes, my head is on fire. This this sun is just whoo. The heck. Here they come. These are my last few hours in Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden. I'm noticing the, the sun is coming from out, from behind the, uh, the clouds ever, ever, every so often. It's going behind the clouds right now. So I get a blast of heat and then some cool, very cold breezes. And then when the sun reappears, it's warm again just fluctuating I was just thinking about my travels and how I wanted to be meticulous and keep records of my spending but I lost track some some things popped up and you know I just my attention was diverted 
so many things came up, you know, from the museum being closed to, you know, switching plans, changing and going to a new, uh, a new museum and a whole bunch of stuff, just a, a whole bunch of stuff happened. So I'm like, I gave up on it. So just gave up on it. Anyhow. Volvo is a Swedish uh, car brand. I know that now. I won't forget it now because I've been here. I've seen the Volvo all over. Here in Sweden, they still have a lot of these other vehicles from Audis, Mercedes, Kias, Hyundai. I'm just looking at the cars right now as I mentioned them. Is that a Jaguar? Or maybe Alfa Romeo? What comes to mind is when I was in Ghana, uh, Edmund, our tour guide, asked me a question about, you know, what do I do? Strictly speaking, I'm not employed by anyone per se. I mean, I do have a, a delivery job. And when I get back to Los Angeles, then I will get back into de making deliveries. I see these delivery people all around. There's one, there's two, if you can see them, making deliveries. I don't do deliveries like that. I take care of larger catering orders. But I'm a deliverer, nonetheless. I drive my vehicle and deliver foods. I'm in the process of becoming a, a, a substitute teacher. I'm only a, a couple of steps away. I have to return to Los Angeles and then buckle down and um, just take a few uh, medical tests, the tuberculosis test and some other tests. And after that, I should be good to go. And from what my wife tells me, it should uh, pay pretty well and there should be benefits in, in, involved. So I'll just have to do that, earn some money, support myself and uh, save up some more so I can travel again. And um, that's about it. Oh yeah, so Edmund asked me, what do I do? And I told him I, I was an English teacher and he, he was adamant, well, what do you do now? What is it that you do now? And I was, you know, I, I didn't want to say I'm unemployed. I didn't want to say that at all. And in fact, I have, a, I have my own business. There's a, there's a family in, in our community who calls upon me to, um, to be their private Uber driver. That's better than driving for Uber. Uber sucks. You can make some money, but you have to accept anybody in your car. And that can become difficult. So, yeah, I've got that business. And then I'm making these videos and stuff for, for YouTube and Instagram and stuff. And, you know, a podcast. So, very much right now I'm in the, the, the building creation um, mode building and creating content you know and I'm guided by my story that story but he asked me and he kept pressing me what do you do what do you do what is your job what is your function what do you do and I was just like I give up man so I told him I told him what I read on a t-shirt one time I told him man I just drink beer and I know things. I drink beer and I know things. And he laughed at that one. He didn't ask me afterwards, what do I do? You know, I guess the lesson is don't take yourself too seriously. You know, people can see right through all of the, the BS. 
I wasn't trying to BS him. But, you know, he wanted he wanted the I want to say Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity. Nah, that's not it. That's not uh, appropriate at all. He wanted the real deal. He wanted the the real McCoy. So that's pretty much what it is. I drink beer and I know things. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's all I wanted to share. I thought about that phrase. I drink beer and I know things. I just wanted to say that on video. I'm just enjoying this. These last few hours here in Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. Yeah. My experience on the subway yesterday, I took it for the first time. Like walking these streets in this part of the uh, the city, you can see a lot of Swedes, a lot of blonde Scandinavians. But then when I got on that subway, boy, oh boy, did that change quickly. Still saw the Swedes, but I also saw a lot of other people. Asians, Africans. Boy, oh boy, it was different on that subway. A pleasant, it was a pleasant change. I'll say that. All right, those are my thoughts. Peace. I'll leave you with the sun and clouds. That is a tree with a massive nest bird's nest just saw some birds fly out of there
Ah, uh, yes. Hello again. The Eid celebration is one for the Muslims that celebrates the end of Ramadan. Ramadan, that most Islamic of celebrations, of holidays, not unlike the Passover or the Lent of the Jews and the Christians, respectively. The Eid celebration is one whereby the end of Ramadan, that six week, that six week period over which the Muslims fast ends. As I embark on my journey today, I will venture out into the city where I will see a number of things and I will be among the throngs of Muslims who are moving between their masjids, mosques, and their homes on this most blessed of day. It is, it is interesting to say the least that in this particular year, the year 2022 of our Lord, that the Passover, the Lent, uh, excuse me, the Passover, the Easter, and the Ramadan celebrations have all coincided. This is a most auspicious and curious coincidence. However, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are all brother or sister religions. Father Abraham had many sons, is how the story goes. And each religion is birthed from the... And each of the religions is... And each religion, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, are all Abrahamic religions. Hello, I'm Larry Wiggs and I'm reporting live from London, England for 109. This is Larry Wiggs reporting from London, England. Today is a most auspicious day for the Muslim community. It is the Eid al-Fitr the celebration of the end of the Ramadan. Ramadan this year has coincided with Easter and Passover. Imagine that. Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, all Abrahamic religions having their celebrations coincide at the same time. Fascinating. In the year of our Lord, 2022. This is the Science Museum, Natural History Museum. <laughs> Cheerio, cheerio, oh boy. Here I am in London, in England, having a wonderful, splendid time. 
<laughs> I was here um, 2000 and something. I was here traveling. I had a layover for six hours. I got out the uh, airport and I went, uh, I went down here. I jumped in a black cabbie. I don't know what they call it, black cab. And I saw the city, it cost me 200 bucks. And it was very short, and maybe less than an hour. 200 bucks for a black cab tour of the city. So I've already been here. But here I am again, enjoying the scenes. Jolly good time to be back here on the, the Eid Al Fitur day. The celebration for the Muslims, but folks are out and about enjoying themselves just the same. It's quite an experience to be here in London, England. Oh, and we're coming upon another splendid building. I believe it's a museum of some sorts. Let's see what I see. Ah, yes, and there it is. Splendid building here in England. I spot a man down the road, down the abbey, wearing all white. I believe he is of the Islamic, the Muslim, the Islamic faith. I believe he is Muslim. After all, it is the end of Ramadan. I'm from Los Angeles. They say look right. I look left and right.
so it is what it is here I am in London England and I'm passed by this restaurant can I get it it's world famous you know Salt Bay that dude who sprinkled the salt on his uh, on his uh, elbow and his forearm this is his spot right here so he tells me that uh, they opened up a restaurant in Los Angeles so that's cool might have to stop by but hey as they say when in Rome right or rather when in London oh, the, the double deckers I imagine this is legal what with that that arm hanging down. Well, folks, this is the Rose Garden here at uh, the corner, Hyde Park. Hyde Park Corner, that's what this is. I'm sitting here on this uh, bench at Hyde Park Corner at the Rose Garden. Here I am. It's overcast, cloudy, very cloudy day. Check that out. Every section of the uh, sky is covered in clouds. Alrighty. And here I am just chilling. Well, I just walked from uh, whatever station in Gloucester all the way down here. It was a nice little walk. I passed a number of different uh, a number of different uh, stores, famous stores, world famous stores, restaurants, Harrods of London and a whole bunch of other stuff. And um, so I'm in the place to be. Uh, I'll be meeting uh, Eric probably in the next 10 minutes I'll, I'll probably jump in a black cab and uh, head over to the Tate Modern I think he just messaged me let me check my messages now I could be wrong but it's about that time and I just felt the vibration yep I'm on the ramp outside the door he says uh, oh wow Hey, dude, I'm here. Just gonna pop inside for the bathroom. Okay. I'm, mex I'm test messaging him back. I'm texting him. So he's already there. I lost track of time walking down here. I didn't... I figured I had more time, but I don't. I gotta go. Gotta go meet Eric. All right, so... Let me jump in a in a black cabbie and make my way. Go by to the a nice little. So I'm in a taxi now. This is a, a black cab, sir? Yes, it is. Black cab, okay. So I'm in a tag a black cab now. I walked all the way from way back there up here. I went to the uh, Hyde Park. And then I discovered that you cannot uh, get a taxi outside of Hyde Park, at least from right here. So I walked all the way back in that direction um, to find a taxi uh, stand. And I luckily got a taxi stand to take me to the Tate Modern. So that's that's the update. So <laughs> it's going to cost me a little, a few pounds here. But that's what it is. It is bizarre for London to shut off today. Oh! I was going to go through the tunnel, then I thought, no. So London is shut off, he says, and uh, it's going to take a longer, uh, longer route. Can't take the the tunnel. Oh, what's this? Wellington. Uh, I remember seeing that. Is being what the day is, what the 
the celebration is as I'm walking the streets the Muslims are quite receptive to me you know a nod here or there and uh, I did notice as I was walking that uh, two very very interesting there were a couple were walking and they split in order for me to walk through the middle that was quite interesting yeah I was filming for like five minutes. I was filming for like five minutes. I don't appreciate that. What the hell is wrong with me? Look at this dude, man. Haven't seen this guy in. I haven't seen you in how many years? Ten? Nothing's changed. Ten years? It's been ten years? It's been ten years still. So unfathomable decision making at times, you know, <laughs> no, nothing, not, nothing has changed at all. How you doing, man? Oh, man, good, good. Good uh, to see you. Yeah, man, how, how was Hyde Park? Was it, you, you walked from your hotel to Hyde Park and then from here? Because I feel like it actually would have been a comfortable amount of time. It's all good. I'll make it work. I mean, obviously there is a large amount of tourist stuff to do and you're not going to have so much time. So. Are you okay with the camera? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, 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 I watched your videos. So. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's cool with it. <laughs> I think it'll be okay in, in the space as well. It's actually right. quite a good gallery to film, I think. Okay. And then, do you know who him is? Who? The, the artist we're going to see. No, I have no idea. She was the first black woman ever to receive the Turner Prize, which is this country's most prestigious art prize. That was five years ago. This is like her first like big career retrospective. The pieces for which she was awarded that prize are up in there. It's pretty cool. It's, and it's interesting because like the, the brief for the exhibit is that you're, as an audience member, supposed to be part of the exhibit. It's like a, a play, I guess she called it. And last time I was here, I thought it was really fun. I just smoked weed. I was in there, and there's like no one in there. Just laughing my ass off by myself. And it's like that kind of exhibit. It's not, you know, yeah. sanctimonious in that way. Okay. Know? See, Eric is cool like that because he's studied uh, what, African-American history. And he knows better than I do. 
what's really going on. So I'm like, I'm loving this. It's alright, I'm gonna do it. Sorry about that. So I'm Eric's guest. Yeah. He's got me in here. As a guest, I get in for free. So that's cool. So what, you, you booked your ticket already, and then... And, and then, then it's non-refundable, non-exchangeable, yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because obviously, I mean, yeah, you don't need it now. But. Right. So, so what, is it, what is this ticket you're doing? You're in Sweden for days, and then... All right. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you want to give an intro and a little update from um, what we did? Sure. In front of the camera. <laughs> what, what, what have we done? After Larry's tardy arrival, we went to the Lubina Hibbert exhibit. I had been there already, um, so mostly with me lecturing Adam. But, you know, Larry contributing to things that I didn't fucking know, and that was awesome. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't recording allowed inside, but um, I'm sure... Larry has taken home many life lessons that he will impart to his videos over the course of the months and years. So that's what's important, really. The museum store at the Tate Mod. Tate. Isn't this where Jay-Z did something? Huh? Jay-Z filmed a video here or something? Tate Modern? Did he? Oh, maybe down in this space down here in the, um, let's see. Called? The, uh, oh, what's this space called? I can't remember. Um, foyer or something? Or something. No, it has, this, this, this has a particular space. This is like its own gallery space. They'll put like super huge installations in here, often commissioned individually. Uh, we can exit here. I just want to go through. Yeah, let me just, just film around here. Yeah, they're probably, they're, they're, I think maybe they're between pieces, but usually there's a big piece hand, hanging right in there. Wow. Or sometimes it's like a video thing. It's often being sponsored by like Samsung, Google, or whatever, you know. Um, whoever has taken the mantle up in place of the old uh, Nazi supporters who traditionally supported our galleries. Did you say No, there's like a lot of the organizations that typically have sponsored big fashion and art exhibitions in like the world's history in like the modern world's history are like uh, I don't know organizations like that are now increasingly shown to be a little unscrupulous in their history um, oh yeah 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 various reasons Harvard uh, University <laughs> among others yeah I mean this Harvard must have a endowment in the billions surely so who knows but yeah um, shall we then? Yeah, I have practice. I'm good, I'm good. here as a black man, you know what I mean? Like, you can, you know, women particularly, like, like the, there's not ideas like, like, of, like, you know, miscegenation in the same sense that there still is, and particularly in, like, the South of America, you know what I mean? Like, including, like, my Maryland. Huh? Maryland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maryland's the South, technically. You know, I mean, you get outside of the, like the, the DC suburbs, 
it is like fucking corn and tobacco country and, ch and, and Tyson chicken also, you know. <laughs> Proud Maryland brand, Tyson chicken. We can get the beef? Although I hear a lot of the tobacco farms have converted into like great vineries, great vineyards. This is the River Thames, famous oh, yeah, river, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Once, uh, once, uh, extremely stinky, cleaned up in the last hundred years or so. I don't know the history of it at all, <laughs> but. This is, this, is, this is the New Globe Theater, Shakespeare Globe Theater. Um, it's not the original Globe, but it's the one that's been reconstructed for two sort of tourist purposes, but still a great theater working, you know. Cool. If you had like a week and you right. were going to do like the maximum tourist route, this is where you would go on the part of there for sure. You would probably almost certainly do this walk actually. What the fuck is this? Look at that. That is fast. I just did not realize. This is You did not realize? I didn't realize that that was a thing and how fast it went. I had heard of the water taxis, but I had not seen Uber boat. Yeah. It's a curry <laughs> Oh, and something's fucking going on today. I don't know what it is. Like, there's been like multiple boats of fucking chanty ass lads like this doing essentially some version of exactly this chant. It's always this chant. And it's like, this, I mean, you know, I come to this area a lot. Uh, and you don't, I've never seen this before. Just, there's multiple tourist boats. This is one of these, one of these boats up here is going to start chanting down too. It's fucking not great atmosphere. You know? Yeah. I think right. it must be football, soccer related somehow. But, uh, yeah, get a lot of white boys together and have them chant like that. It's like uh, it's a little scary and worrisome. It's really, it's, it's really, it's really T-shaped. With whom we have known each other since childhood and made friends over our mutual love of football. And it's like you could literally make like, friends with any kid. In the fucking dreams with them over that, you know. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it, felt, it feels very arbitrary, you know. But like no friendship in the chances sometimes. I mean, I mean, that's not true. But they're connecting on levels they don't acknowledge. Like it's like, oh well, we talk about football, but it's, but really they're connecting. Yeah, and it's just inherently whiter. <laughs> yeah. I just came from Sweden. Oh, sure. <laughs> the blonde hair. But oh, you know, yeah, yeah. for where I'm staying, um, I, I took the, uh, I took the, uh, the, 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 the tube. Okay. I took the tube in from the, uh, from Heathrow. Sure, sure. I got in there, I got off the train, and it was just like India City. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I mean like I mean, uh, like South. They, they, I you know they'll, they'll they'll call themselves Asian people here, South Asian people. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like I'm Asian. Like oh, oh really? That's good, yeah, man. I, mean, I still smoke smoke shit probably. <laughs> but but uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Uh, quit smoking cigarettes uh, and I yeah I have like I think I have some wine. I had some wine last night actually. Probably have like wow. one or two drinks a month maybe. You know, I mean, yeah. never really get drunk or anything like that. Obviously, my wife. Being sick, she doesn't really drink anymore. She actually just had her second breast surgery last week, which is why I wasn't sure if I could make it. Yeah, yeah. But she's recovering well. It's much, much easier recovery than her previous surgery. All right, Eric. So tell me, where are we? Um, we're on the path between the Tate Modern, the Modern Art Museum, and Borough Market, which is, this is a really common just tourist walk, as you can see, all like the franchise places that wouldn't normally be fancy are fancied up for the tourist money. Um, and so, are we going to a market? Because that sounds like a yeah, yeah. good place to get a meal. That's what I'm saying. There's also, there, and there's, so there's going to be famous market fair, which isn't particularly English, but available famously in this market, and there's also going to be more traditional stuff. Well, that's true, yeah. Let's carry on, shall we? All right, calm down. You don't sound good when you do that. I don't. No. What? Oh, oh God, stop. <laughs> In America, that like is hypothetically passable in a room where no one has any experience with English or is English themselves. Here, you can't be doing that shit. I know, I heard, yeah, I got that impression. I had a, a really good time.
the experience that I did not get the first time that I was here for six hours riding around in a black cab. We're actually right here and we're about to have some some chips. Fish, no not chips, fish. We're gonna have some fish. There are also chips. You want, you want fish and chips? That would be the traditional thing, obviously. Well, no, I, I've had chips before, but uh, <laughs> yeah, your yeah, suggestion yeah. your suggestion of, you know, keeping uh, it light. We, we, we're, 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 we're men around our 40s and having lunch, <laughs> a bunch of fish and chips, and then doing stuff is arduous. <laughs> so, Barclays. protein injection for the men and like near, nearby their 40s like this is much more practical than eating a shitload of fried fish and chips in the middle of the day and trying to do stuff. These tiny fish, I wanted this. <laughs> what the, what, are you see why, why, why did you, why did you get that? Why did you, why did you order what I ordered? Why did I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So Eric says this area right here is usually the market covered in vendors and uh, their wares and whatnot. It's, it's usually filled up with like cheesemongers and like dudes selling homemade, homemade tortillas but it's a bank holiday here meaning that it's a national holiday and I figured they would have you know people to make money off all these tourists but here we are there's no one here so I don't know. Here we are. So what is this? It says mac and cheese. Oh that's a long line. I wouldn't want to waste any time. But I can fucking stand in line for some a couple of mac and cheese in like a couple seconds. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. The mac and cheese here is garbage, man. I made the best mac and cheese is made in my house. Cannon Street Station, okay. Yeah, this is not a, this is a, is there an underground station here? I did not know that. Like, I never use the fucking proper trains, honestly. They're, they're a pain in the ass. You gotta buy a real ticket. You can't just tap on sometimes. people in England are even more likely to watch anime than, by, than, than, than back in LA. And I know in LA, in terms of black people, that's the highest percentage, I think, you know? Maybe down south. And, you, and your part, you're there with your partner as well? No, kids. she stays with her family. She stays with her mom, rather. Ideally, of course, we'd love to live together and all of that. A lot of African Americans are moving back there. Um, yeah, you know, W. E. Du Bois. This one, uh, last resting place. This one re refers to us. The genre in particular, obviously. Decorate. <laughs> Here, Queen Victoria returned thanks to Almighty God for 60th anniversary of her ascension, June 22nd, A.D. 1897. 
Oh, I got a bird fly by. St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh yeah, you gotta go inside. We go to St. Bart's Hospital, and behind there is another market. We'll have other stuff. It's also great. It's probably that. Then. Let's see. Let's go. So this is Paternoster Square, it's also a famous area. This is like real like dick in a suit territory. Like during like happy hour there'll be like tons of guys with pints. Like there's a pub. one of these is a pub and like just guys just like sit out just like pints. Like the dick in a suit look is a dick in a suit is definitely a London phrase, like dark navy suit, navy tie, pink or white shirt, uh, brown shoes, brown belt, uh, very like coiffed hair, gonna be blonde to ginger and not a whole lot of variation in there. Um, yeah. Yeah. The kind of guy who's like, you like, you know, get reservations for your anniversary. So largely, as you can probably smell, yeah. a lot of meat mongers, fish mongers, you know, things like that. Probably fresh fruit and veg on the other side. I know they do, I think they do flowers here as well. Like, I think it's all serving the restaurants in like the center of the city. But I mean, it's A, a bank holiday, and B, I think they start probably working at like 4.30 in the morning, like a real market, you know? Okay. Here's the call to I wasn't recording, I got my food. Eric gave us an introduction and everything and I'm just gonna have to dig in now. Okay, look, there's, there's, there's a, a kind of like a very popular chef who owns this restaurant. Um, the dishes he produces, he was famous for using like off cuts of meat, like uh, kidneys and things like that to turn them into something really simple and tasty. Like you, you'll see things on the menu that's like, oh, when I was served as a kid, I thought that was fucking gross. But now like a filet of mackerel is pickled, here is going to be like the tastiest version of that thing you didn't like when you were a kid. Kidneys on toast, liver and onions, that's all here, but it's all done nicely. Cheers. Good to see you, man. Enjoy. Up here. And this used to be just an open alleyway. And you can see there's like a door up here. Yeah. So the what used to happen is they used to throw stuff down from there into the street here and back in like the back and like that. Sun's coming out, huh? Yeah. It's definitely the first like nice sunny weekend in months and everyone was out in front of the city. Famous restaurant. Real fun. Alright. It's like of the famous restaurants in Did you have a drone as well? Did I, did I see drone footage in those things? Nah. I thought, I thought you had aerial footage somewhere. Really? Um nah. Oh aerial footage, that was from my cousin. Yeah, he came to visit and he had uh he brought his drone. He's actually uh, licensed to operate drones. He works for a. Uh, that, that's lucrative, actually. A local news. Uh, oh, that, 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 that's, that's a fun job. 
Yeah, because like, like, it's a small town in California, you know, little, little hick town. Yeah, I, I have never spent any time in California for real. I've been to San Francisco like once. I've never been to LA. I really I always felt that I should because people on the East Coast always think I'm from the West Coast because the way I talk or whatever, even though I talk super fast, right? But I guess I have like a lot of weed in my voice, so it sounds like California sometimes, you know what I mean? It's so nice to like actually have like this is the, the first American dude I, I hung out with in a while, man. It's so nice to just like shoot my shit, you know what I mean? And like the people miss hearing me all the time here, you know what I mean? And like when because they see my face and think I'm a fucking Chinese accent's gonna come out of it because you know and specifically black women because like me growing up as like an a, a weird little Asian kid in the 80s and 90s, right? And black women in America, I think you can say, to a large extent, are they have the really have the feet on the ground. Because if you're a black woman in America, you gotta be aware of what's going on around you at all times. did this happen so yesterday I met a couple from California who exited at the Hounslow East station mistakenly and had to walk 15 minutes to get to our accommodation I met them at my accommodation we're sharing we're we're also we're not sharing anything we're on this trip together our, our, our itinerary is matched up in this city and in this, uh, yeah, in this, in this country. So anyhow, they exited at Hounslow East and they had to walk 15 minutes to get to their accommodation. And I didn't have to because I went to Hounslow Central. That was not a mistake I made yesterday. And here I am making the mistake today exiting at Hounslow East when I should have exited at Hounslow Central so they said you had to go down the street and then make some turns and residential area this is a nice little quaint little home at the end of the block one of the better homes it's uh, situated apart from the other homes which is nice so here I am making the same journey that those folks made just walking through the city through the streets to get to my accommodation when if I had just gotten off at the at the uh, Hounslow Central location I'd have been 600 feet from my destination man well so many it's like Eric said human error human error. If we weren't all on train tracks headed in the same direction or heading to our destination on train tracks, we could certainly get off course. Peace.
surfing on the wing As an adolescent I dreamed of big things Climb to the top of the mountain to see the scene Petty whap don't want me to have anything I'm the captain, no jet lag Boeing jet swag Floating to the sunset, keep the drinks coming back She summoned me, gave me turbulence on the sink Pretty flight attendant, boarding pass